Guys, <laughs> we're picking up the new bike today. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna find out soon what we're getting. Only one person yeah. on all the socials has guessed correctly. So I'm gonna send a sticker to that guy after we <laughs> release this video. Uh, we're pretty excited. Very pretty chilly excited. outside today. Um, like 50, a little over 50. What does it say? Yeah, but, 50. but you know what? This is our early like Christmas birthday, all the things present. So there it comes. It was it was gonna be cold anyway. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. So I like that better actually. <laughs> Tell me what you liked about it better. Um I feel like the riding, I liked how I sat and where my knees were. I thought the brakes were still great on this. Um, I feel like it turned really easy. Like, Are you just, saying this one didn't? No, I don't know. I feel like this was actually a smoother ride. Like I feel like the, like when I shifted, it just felt seamless. I don't know. I mean, they, this, this is a great bike still. I just I tell you, like I it. felt this was more comfortable of a ride for me just because I'm bigger, I think. Okay. Um, like when I was standing up, I could stand up on this comfortably versus this. I had to bend over, which we can always raise the bars, right? I mean, either way, I was thinking we would want maybe like a two-inch pullback. Yeah. Just a little bit so we're not lean. But like, I really liked both of them. Which, I actually think they both rode a little better than the Tenere. I both of them but I, I didn't I, I'll be honest I didn't feel the power difference from that to this yeah it's still so the nice thing with them still doing that cross plane crank yeah is it's putting down a little bit more torque because of okay because you're not losing as much power through the overall crank from the parallel twin okay um, yeah I actually felt like at 70 this was smoother and a nicer ride than that was mm -hmm. Is that because of this? This is one that's been lowered. It's lower it to the ground. Might be, I would say. Um, the other thing too is, is it's like it's with it being a bigger engine and all. It's definitely got a little bit more of kind of like a uptick when you roll okay. on versus that. It's going to have it um, rolls kind into of a it, more, especially with you guys coming from V twins and how the cross plane parallel yeah. functions. Is it's more to mimic kind of how a V twin makes power. Okay. Um. So that's probably why it felt a little smoother, a little more so used to like, what you guys are are riding. So I did, when, I, when we had this one and we went around that- I was shocked. That 15 mile an hour curve. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was in second mm -hmm. going around that curve. And then like when I, I felt it like pick up and it, it felt like a lot of power for a 750. Honda definitely, I think. They did something good. It's here. a good bike. We wanted to take a minute to thank our friends at thebikerlawyers.com. If you're ever in an accident in Iowa or Minnesota, make sure to call and ride the recovery road with the biker lawyers. Hi guys, I'm Meg. If you're new to our channel, this is my motorcycle journey. It's a moto vlog that follows me on two wheels and cameraman comes along with me. If you haven't already, it would mean so much to Michael and I if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on our adventures. One other quick announcement before we get into which bike we got. We do have calendars for sale. Pre-sale is over, but regular calendar sale is continuing on our website. There's a link in the description, but it's megsmotorcyclejourney.net. So if you are interested in a calendar, head on over and go ahead and purchase one from our website. Cycle in Hagerstown, Maryland, and clearly they sell Indian Honda Kawasaki. Yamaha, they sell Yamaha, Polaris, they sell Triumph, they sell. Am I missing something? Uh, not on the top. So, we've had a lot of guesses as to what we're buying, and like I said, only one person's correct. You're about to find out. Uh -huh. They do have a ton of Indian bikes. You know what? I forgot to flick my thing around. Hello. Hi. <sighs> Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Good. 
Oh, papers. I just left them on the dashboard. <laughs> Can't take women anywhere. Okay. How are you doing? Good, good. I'll go grab. Are you okay. gonna grab? A lot of people did ask if we were gonna get <laughs> this. What? Was it the Kawasaki? Mm -hmm. To ensure a motorcycle uh, for a business, a business policy, a motorcycle company um, was going to buy a company name. And is that something that you guys would do? Oh yeah. Bees. Oh, oh yeah. But like, and a lot of people did guess the tiger. Um, but I mean, he rode the BMW. There was a guy that came on one of our tours that had one. Um, anyway, <laughs> so he rode it, but I was like, this thing's a monster. I could not, like, it would be harder for me than like an ultra glide. It really would. Yeah, those the 1200s are a lot of bike, especially yeah. with having that boxer motor where it sits like really wide down there. So yeah. Sure. Because we'll walk through the menu and everything to kind of show you how to yeah. adjust everything. Cause it, just it's, so I know. Because it, yeah, yeah. And like I said, I can watch videos all day long, but until I just do it a few times. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the thing we tell and, people all the time. I also don't know what it, I know I, I want it in sport all the time. I, I just know that, right? Oh, like, <laughs> my bike never leaves sport right. unless I'm putting it in my, my rider. Now, like when you go off road, do you <laughs> leave it on sport? Um, you can't. You can leave it in any mode that you want. Um, that's where the so the, their off road mode does have the throttle mapping slightly reduced from the sport mode if I remember correctly, and then it disables the rear ABS because it puts you similar to the it's their gravel mode is what they call it. Um, but you can you could adjust that to have it with the full power. Um, like throttle yeah. response, like and yeah, you have to do that in user mode, right? Like that. Yeah, I have my rider mode set to where it's at the top power mode. It can get on the traction control is off, um, and the ABS is the least intrusive that it can be on because I don't want all of that stuff when I'm really ripping it through. Right, and, and that's what I want to make sure I can do. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right cool. And cool, that's, cool. but we'll go into it, and I'll kind of show you the, the basics behind the menu and everything. Perfect. How you adjust everything. Cool. And all. Which for you know. A 10 grand msrp motorcycle to have all that stuff I, that's what i'm saying have right. a quick shifter and everything with right it. yeah it's like energy but like actually the probably the toughest riding in costa rica was when we went to the cloud forest and the roads were just like around the mountain and half the road was just missing like you came around the curve and there's, there's no road it was awesome and the, <laughs> it was like, gnarly <laughs> and there's like you know a bus coming at you like a yeah. tour bus and we were on um the 700 ton race yeah. and just yeah he's tearing it up and it's funny because i've never in all of the recordings we've taken which we've got hundreds of videos on youtube i've never heard this he's he is bitching at me so loud on this recording he's like come on megan what are you doing you're better than this what the <laughs> <laughs> here we are at mount verde and shit yeah, ripping it you're over back here right pussyfoot <laughs> i know it's raining i don't care i know it's raining there's boars there's we're a like foreign country the there's no one within missing. 20 miles of us but it's fine come on bitch. let's yeah, go yeah, let's go <laughs> yeah, it's cool. um but it was really awesome and so like doing those kind of things we were kind of like you know we love our harleys and we're not getting rid of our harleys but it would be nice to be able to do some more of that on a more regular basis. He's been they said I couldn't do it. I, I did it. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Don't tell me I can't do something. Yeah, when I pulled her out, I made sure to get a full tank of gas in it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take turns riding your It's It's fun. I, I checked uh, the quick shifter out and everything was yeah. going around. Was that the first time you rode it? 
Uh, yeah, actually, it was. Um, I had just kind of gone off of what everybody else had said. Mm -hmm. The suspension on it surprised me. I was like, yeah. For a stock suspension, it's... For a stock suspension, it's, cool. it's, set, up, it's set up really well, yeah. especially it being, especially on the front, a non-adjustable suspension, which you guys are more or less used to with the Harleys as it is. Yeah. From the factory, the suspension <laughs> is set pretty solid. Um, <laughs> My bike doesn't have any suspension. No, it, it's done. <laughs> And then the rear, you do have some adjustability down here. What'd you say? I said, I'll ride it halfway home and we'll ride it halfway home. Right? Let's we'll see. I guess you got to stop me if I'm going first. But. <laughs> then I guess I'll ride it first. That'd actually be a good picture for the video. Yeah. With the oh she really has done that a few ten times. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to be fine. The best time, not, we, we, she, stopped, she got me in the, in, in the snow up in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and, and she, she, she goes in there and buys leggings for fat people. <laughs> and, and, and she got me over here trying to pull this shit over top of my head. And it was not going to fit. So what, what happened was... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go over the bike. Alrighty. 2025, they told kind of turned on there. Got your dash and everything set up. Your trip, um, current miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, your date and time right down there, um, as well as showing that it's in sport mode and all. So adjusting the mode just it? by itself, yeah. right up top yeah, okay, there, you're yeah. gonna be pressing the mode button here. So mm -hmm. standard's gonna be with three on the power out of four, engine braking at three out of four, torque at um, three of five and the ABS set to on-road. Uh, rain is gonna keep the ABS and on-road, raise the torque, or not torque, the uh, traction control all the way up. Um, engine brake is gonna stay the same and give you the lowest power setting throttle map that's on it. Uh, gravel changes you to the off-road ABS, keeps your traction control up a little bit, um, just to still kind of help your average person out. Engine braking goes all the way up because it's gonna allow the engine to kind of keep itself modulated. Okay. Um, so you're not, you know, drifting for a while off road so, and power mode sits at two okay so these these one the modes it's showing you the level of Correct. okay i got you and what's the p mean p is um the power mode power so mode. you get four power modes that are okay. built into it so okay. um one being the lowest on that four at the top being the highest okay it's going to give you the twitchiest throttle okay um and then back to your user mode which right now user mode is set with engine braking at the lowest we, we left the traction control all the way up abs set the off-road for the rear and then the power mode all the way up you see the traction controls all the way on there. Yeah, and that's just how we had it set at. We have just from us playing around with it. Okay. Um, so for going into that, so he um, is going to be pressing and holding to the right. We'll bring you in here to your function screen. So ride, and then this guy back here, this key is going to be what to get underneath. Oh, oh. So and that's going to be where your toolkit is at. Um, from the factory as well as your access point into your the fuse batteries. box and your battery and everything. Yeah. Excellent. And then all it is uh, so this battery is, is good enough for me to hook up, um, you know, uh, like heated gear to it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can absolutely put heated gear. I was going to bring it and hook it up for her today, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> we're good. So What'd you just do? Just bought us new Yeah, let's go see it. After, after much trouble. <laughs> you sure you want to do it? It's too late now. We already bought it, right? That's right. <laughs> Where did they do it? He took it outside this way. Huh? Oh. All right. Thank you for everything. Thank you. We're excited. Yeah. We're excited to hear about some of your adventures on that thing. We're going to go places. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. It's Meg's Motorcycle Journey. Meg's Motorcycle Journey. Yeah. I normally have cards on me. I don't have it though. Okay. But you can go to YouTube or Instagram. Just well, how about this? I'll start following you there. Yeah. If you guys follow my daughter, I'll Instagram. Yeah. Follow on Instagram. 100%. Yeah. Okay, what is what is it for? It's right here. Uh, she's battling cancer. Aww, so, gotcha. Absolutely. So, absolutely, we'll follow that. We'll, hear that. we'll follow you guys, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Have a blast. Oh. I've got the... Where we go? Where, where are you going? First, I'm going to get some damn food. Where? I don't know. You want to go to Sheets? Yeah, you know where it's at? No, I got to follow you. I don't got a mountain or anything. No shit. Or do you want to go, like... 
you want to meet a ride to Frederick and we get food and bed for Let's Frederick do that. and then we'll switch? That's perfect. Okay. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Flickability is amazing. Stopping is great. Still learning the, like, the different motor, you know. Oh, the quick shifter is... I didn't use it. Pretty gnarly. Is it? Yeah, I want to do some research on it to make sure I'm not screwing it up or nothing, but it's pretty cool. I yeah. felt like it was very smooth. I was in some wind. That's know? true. It was and cold. we were going 80, 90 mile an hour and shit. I was trying to move so you could yeah, I know. move. No, I was moving. <laughs> she, I mean, she hit 100, no problem. Yeah, we're not going to have any power problems. No power problems there. We might have some stretching problems. <laughs> <laughs> Get my leg. Hey guys, so we brought the Trans Alp home. We actually did not have our GoPro, so we have taken it for its like inaugural ride home from the dealer, but this is our first actual ride. Maiden voyage. That's right. Um, it's cold in Maryland. Today's the warmest day we've had in like two weeks. It's been like 30s. Uh, today is right around 50. Uh, so we decided to take it out, but huge thank you to Gerbing. Um, they had given us heat, some heated gear before, um, and they sent us out some more great stuff. So thank you, Gerbing. If you live like we do, I guess, is this up north or down south? It's always, there's always like an argument because Maryland, it's supposed to be the Mason-Dixon line, right? Yeah, we're, we're like below it, but it is way colder here than any of you, Florida, Georgia, Carolina, Texas people. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're in the, get, we we're in the snow belt. Snow. Right, yeah, right. We get a fair amount of snow. So uh, it's a game changer. Let's us ride all year. So I got this heated. It's changing directions all year. Um, we, our new bike, her name is Shira. Shira. Shira seat off and easily installed the little heated gear. Adapter. Adapter. So that goes in here, and then I have the shell, which I can wear with my. Look, guys! Everybody that gets upset about my attire, look at this. I, I have like, I, I look like an adventure bike rider. Not you do. Really, not really. I still have leather with, pants. With your shell helmet. I still have leather pants and a shell helmet. Nobody's gonna make me switch. Maybe I'll get a modular. I don't know. We'll see. Um. Anyway, so then I I, I stick this through the sleeves, and then I got this heated gear right here and it is a game changer if you've never had heated gear give it a shout um uh, i'm already starting to get toasty warm so then i got this this here remote control which i zipped up in here so it wouldn't come out but i got this here little remote control and i can set it so right now i have it set to five and six and then i'm going to be Riding in comfort, y'all. Mm -hmm. Comfort. Thank you, Gerbing. It's a game changer. They also sent us out, which we have not yet tested, but we will be doing a video on shortly. So um, this is the 12 volt stuff that plugs directly into your motorcycle, which is awesome if you're going on a long trip because you never run out of battery. But they also sent us, I think it's like seven volt that is rechargeable vest. Yes which yep. Michael's very excited about because he likes to wear his vest even when it's very cold outside. <laughs> so we'll, see. we'll test that stuff, stuff out for you and keep you updated on it. But thank you for being Let's so ride. Great. So I don't know if you guys are going to be happy or disappointed that we settled on the Trans Alp. Uh, we did have the opportunity to ride for... Mike's also ridden, no, five, uh, and Mike's ridden the BMW before, although I have not. Different adventure bikes before we settled on this one. We both felt like it rode the best. It was a slightly lower seat height than most of the other ones, with the exception of the Triumph Tiger Low. Um, which you saw my test ride of in the last video and you saw me talking about in the very beginning of this video. Both Michael and I felt that this bike was the smoothest ride, the best value for what comes with a bike. 
many of you have said, and we both agree that Honda is a very reliable product. So that will be nice. But most of all, we just had so much fun on this bike test riding it, and we felt like it was the bike for us. So we're excited to have a little bit of off-road fun with it. I've had tons of people get really upset about the fact that we're getting an adventure bike. Uh, who are Harley fans, we are not getting rid of the Harleys. We love our Harleys. We just wanted to add to our collection. So that is what is going on with this new bike. Not a replacement, just an addition. We are excited to maybe put some off-road tires on it or some 50-50 tires and give it a whirl off-road. Uh, our buddy Dennis that sometimes is in our videos rides a Super Tenere so uh, hopefully maybe all of us can go out on some fun little rides uh, and we will as usual be taking you guys along on the rides with us so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this for everybody that's been upset about us not letting you guys know hopefully you're not too mad and hopefully the video lived up to all of the hype and the expectation and you guys got to know a little bit more about this bike in a minute you will see that we did a brief two up ride we did a forward facing camera and since this bike doesn't have a loud exhaust like our harleys we thought you might be able to hear some of what we were saying but unfortunately you cannot so what we were talking about is a couple of things. One, that even with both of us on the bike, we still felt like it had ample power and that wasn't a concern. A number of people told us we needed a 1200 or a 1250, depending on the make. Uh, but honestly, the 750 seems to be all the power that we need. The other thing that we were discussing was the two up ride and the seat which was remarkably comfortable actually for a passenger seat uh for an adventure bike far more comfortable than most cruiser two up seats that i've sat on i know everybody's gonna tell me that touring bikes have very comfortable seats and that is true and i will say that saddleman seats uh, certainly the passenger seat is improved from a lot of the stock to up Harley seats, but I was pleasantly surprised. We will be giving you guys a fuller review in a couple weeks. Once we've had more of a chance to ride the bike. Thanks so much for everything, guys. You guys are the greatest. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe until next time, guys ride safe. And thank you so much.